Praise the Lord, everyone. I am Elder Marcus McGrew. And I'm Sister Dana White. Welcome to News at Grace. Marcus, yes. can you believe that it's August the 17th already? It seems like August just began. Yeah. And September is right around the corner. That means fall is almost here and back to school. That's right, Dennis, and Greater Grace is prepared as usual to help our children. And just think about September and a night of destiny with Bishop T.D. Jakes. Mm. This is a must for ministry leaders and their members and all others who want to learn from his great ministry. Yes, you're absolutely right. And as always, there's more to come on News at Grace. Hey Detroit, what's all the excitement about? It's about the Back to School Festival, Tuesday, August 19th at God's Graceland Park, right in front of Greater Grace Temple in Detroit. Sponsored by the Master's Commission, the festival runs 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. with fun for the whole family, and it's free. We'll have free school supplies while they last, free haircuts for the boys, free refreshments, rides, games, prizes, entertainment, and more. The festival aims to help struggling families with children 5 to 12 years old. Visit greatergrace.org for details. Detroit, get ready. It's a night of empowerment with the one, the, one, the, only, the only, Bishop T.D. Jakes. If you just want to wander around, this is not the conference for you to go to. This is for people who are sick and tired of being sick and tired, and you're ready to possess the promises of God. Somebody holler, that's me! You're invited to this life-changing session. Come and get the tools you need to maximize your potential. Hello, I'm Bishop T.D. Jakes, and I'm so excited about joining Bishop Charles Ellis. This is a conference you will not want to miss. If you know you're ready to do more, deserve more, and have more, this session is for you. My prayer is that this meeting will push you over the edge. Bishop Jakes is coming to Detroit, and he wants to see you. Registration for this session is only $39, and spots are going fast. Log on to greatergrace.org and secure your spot today. Get ready for an amazing time with the choir master himself, Ricky Dillard, and New Generation. The Stellar Award winner will be live in concert at Greater Grace Temple, Saturday, September 13th at 7 p.m. And he's bringing back up. Joining Ricky Dillard is the electrifying Jay Moss and the always anointed and energetic 2103. It's going down live at Greater Grace Temple, Saturday, September 13th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $15, $20 at the door. Get yours today at God's World and Greater Grace Temple or go online to greatergrace.org. The one, the only, Ricky Dillard and New Generation, Saturday, September 13th at 7 p.m. We'll see you there. Hello, I'm First Lady Chrisette Ellis, and yes, it's that time again, Boot Camp 5. I love Boot Camp because it's a time when we as women gather to be empowered so that we can be all that God has created us to be. Coming this year to Boot Camp 5 is Dr. Carolyn Showell, Evangelist Sandra Riley, Dr. Jean Porter King, Evangelist Barbara Golder, and guest psalmist Tasha Page Lockhart. This year, our theme is Calling Forth the Ministry Within, Stir Up the Gift. Join me October 9th through the 12th right here at Greater Grace Temple. Come on, it's time for you to stir up your gift. Church family, please pick up the flyers about the Back to School Festival, Bishop T.D. Jakes, and the Ricky Diller Concert, and spread them all over town. And remember, we are in need of volunteers to help pack book bags on this Monday morning, August the 18th at 10 a.m. 
the backpacks will be given to the children who attend the Back to School Festival. Remember, that's tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Also, all ministry leaders and the members of your ministry can register for the ministry of Bishop T.D. Jakes in Vision Hall for $25. All others can register for $39 in Vision Hall. You can use cash, credit card, or you may pay online. Young people get excited. The CWC retreat is this Friday, August 22nd. So stop in Vision Hall and purchase your tickets today. Remember, this is your last opportunity to purchase your tickets. And also remember that you are required to attend a special meeting with your parent about the CWC retreat. That also happens following this service. Attention parents of all youth that will attend this year's CWC retreat. There will be a mandatory parent meeting to discuss frequently asked questions and youth expectations. Please meet Youth Pastor Tim and the CWC staff in Riser 1 immediately following service. Young ladies ages 10 to 14, Sister to Sister has planned an exciting and informative session just for you today, immediately following service in room 200E. And remember, it's okay to bring a friend. The Singles with the Gift Ministry's next powerful session will be held in the third floor chapel at 4 p.m. on Saturday, August 30th. This session will be led by our own pastor, Bishop Charles H. Ellis III. Mark your calendars now. For additional information, contact Brother Kevin Green or email him at the address on the screen. Let's take this opportunity to make a lasting difference in a child's life. The Children's Ministry will have its 2014 Ministry Orientation and Training Session on Thursday, August the 28th from 6 to 9 p.m. You are encouraged to bring your gifts, talents, and sincere heart for working with God's little ones to this mandatory training session. A commitment of at least one Sunday a month to this ministry would truly be a blessing. For more information and to sign up as new or returning staff, stop at the Children's Ministry table today. Our intercessors and missionary ministry invite you to attend their sixth annual prayer breakfast. And during the prayer breakfast, we will honor our director, the late missionary Elizabeth Everson. Their theme is living life for your glory. This event happens on Saturday, August the 23rd at 9 a.m. in the Charles H. Ellis III Banquet Hall. Our guest speaker is the anointed evangelist Vita Hopkins. Tickets are only $20, so stop at their table in Vision Hall for more information and to purchase your ticket today. The David Ellis Academies are accepting resumes for information technology support personnel, lunch aides, a certified music teacher, certified art teacher, and on-call substitute teachers. Please submit your letter of interest and resume via email to hr at bardwellgroup.com and indicate the position of interest in the subject line. And please do not hand deliver or fax any documents. Thank you. Women of Grace. Join First Lady Chrisette Ellis and the powerful women of purpose in our second annual Health and Fitness Fun Night on this Friday, August the 22nd from 6 to 8.30 p.m. in God's Graceland Park. Your children, five years old and older, are also invited to attend. For more information and to sign up, stop in Vision Hall at the PWP table immediately following this service. This is it. There are only a few custom auto play frames left, so stop in the bookstore during business hours or stop by the announcer's table following service and purchase one of those great custom auto play frames while they last. They are only $8, so get yours today. Parents, do you have a child who will be four years old by October 1st? Your child may be eligible to attend the new David Ellis Academy and the David Ellis Academy West pre-kindergarten programs for free. Visit dea-detroit.com, 
or deawest.com to find out eligibility requirements and to retrieve an application today. Hurry, there is a limited number of slots available. Were you blessed by that anointed word from our bishop on today? Remember, you can pick up your personal copy in our bookstore on your way out. And remember, all of these announcements are available online at greatergrace.org. Just click the video announcement button. And again, I am Sister Dana White. And I am Elder Marcus McGrew. And before we go, brothers and sisters, we are delighted to welcome back Dr. Celeste Williams with a special medical word just for you. I'm Dr. Celeste Williams. You know, have you ever heard the phrase, if you keep worrying so much, you're going to give yourself an ulcer? This is a very familiar phrase, but is it actually true? A peptic ulcer is when there's a sore in the lining of the stomach. And research has proven that most cases of ulcers are caused by a bacteria called H. pylori. Now, ulcers can also be triggered by daily use of aspirin or ibuprofen. And what happens is the stomach just becomes more sensitive to the stomach acid. Now, the way we diagnose peptic ulcer disease is number one, having an upper GI series, which is an x-ray of the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. Or you can have an endoscopy, which is a thin tube with a tiny camera on the end, which can take pictures of the upper GI system. Now, we diagnose whether or not you have the bacteria, H. pylori, by either a blood or stool test. We treat peptic ulcer disease with the medications that reduce the acid production in the stomach. And also we use antibiotics against H. pylori, which is the bacteria that causes most cases of peptic ulcer disease. We treat patients for about two weeks and most ulcers do not return. Remember, peptic ulcer disease is a treatable condition. It's up to you to stop worrying. I'm Dr. Celeste Williams with your health tip for today. Thank you, Dr. Williams. And if you have a medical question or concern for Dr. Williams, contact us at greatergrace.org or just leave it at the information desk. And remember, you are always welcome at Greater Grace Temple. And now back to our pastor.